Other news tonight, a violent stabbing inside a North Spokane home has landed one man in the hospital and a family dog now fighting for his life. It happened just after six o'clock tonight near Regal and Diamond. KXY 4's Annie Bishop joins us live in North Spokane with that story. Annie? And Joe Crocker came home around six o'clock tonight to find a man inside his home stabbing his beloved dog. He wasted no time fighting back. I did everything I could protect, you know, what was mine. And Covered in blood and visibly shaken, Joe Crocker shares his chilling story before rushing to be by his dog's side. Uh, the intruder stabbed my dog in the in the in the neck, and. Uh, and I don't have the money to pay for it, really. I hope I hope I, I, there's enough money to pay for my dog to get treated because uh, if not, he's going to die. Just after 6 o'clock tonight, Crocker came home to find a man inside his house. He came out of the shadows beside my door casing, and uh, um, when I seen the shadow coming and I seen the face, I just, you know, started hitting him, you know, because who knows what he had. Crocker says the burglar came at him with a large knife. Crocker fought back, stabbing the intruder in the lake. The fight then spilled out into the street where a neighbor helped Crocker pin down the suspect until police arrived. In this case, a neighbor happened to be by and assist the homeowner, and we encourage that. We certainly don't want anybody looking for trouble, but you, you do have the right to defend yourself and other people and property when it's appropriate to do so. Crocker now hopes Chance, his three-year-old pit bull mix, will get a second chance. I think I think it's pretty sorry that somebody would go in somebody's house and, and see that they had a dog and, and tried to kill the dog to take some belongings. That dude could have had everything I had, you know, and, and just let, leave my dog alone. And that suspect, 42-year-old Roger Mendenhall, was taken to a local hospital where he is being treated for his injuries. After he is released from the hospital, he'll head straight to the Spokane County Jail, where he will be charged with first-degree burglary, second-degree assault, and first-degree animal cruelty. Reporting live in North Spokane, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.